two. No money, no problem. <laughs> time here I've come to realize what makes Haven so special it's a flower shop run by multiple generations a bar owner who greets every customer by name it's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years history loyalty pride these values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Thank you, Diane. Damn. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Oh yeah, he killed her dad in the brother. Alex, oh my god, I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? That means we are one step closer to mother. Yeah. Let's do this. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? You know exactly what's going on. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the boat. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. 
And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who were trying to help. This is an act. You're lying. Please. You have my thanks, I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too. But I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. And as a captain, it was my duty to hang on to the helm to the bitter end. Before I knew it, I found myself in space surrounded by weird fish. I would like to speak. Huh? This young lady came to Haven as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. Ducky, you're being unhelpful. Alex, sweetheart. You know our mind can put tricks on us. None of it is your fault. It's so hard to admit you need help. But it's always better in the end. We're all worried about you. Let us help you. Charlotte. No. Leave me alone. I don't want any more of this. They killed Gabe. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. There's something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. I can't help you. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Alex. I got this. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes, we went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Yeah. You're gonna turn to weasel your way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know Don't how you... test me, Jason. <laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. And out of you? Not Typhon? All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? 
Like hell I do. Jason, well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself from oh, cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up... Yeah. Hello? I'm really sorry. It's okay. Why are you doing this? My dad is not a murderer. Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? I thought we were in this together. For Gabe. You me. I thought you cared about me. Ryan. No. I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan. What the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie Oops. about this? Ow. It's going too far. <laughs> Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you. Stop. What's the old man? You know you can't be here. from the demon lab where you all were headed. The flight path you're on would take you three long days in order to reach Sun Jewel. However, I can get you there in one. In fact, I already have. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? So I suppose it's only natural this was about you. I know it's easier. Not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I want not you. My father worked for you. His name was John. I think I'll take a much deserved rest. Hold on a second. Enough, Gabe. Who are you? The world never gave him anything for free. He fought just to stay alive. He fought for us. Maybe he was finally winning. But you killed him. And then gave my big brother. Haven was his second chance. He was so proud of who he'd become. A great boyfriend. A cool dad. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. They haven't changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to help people. Because it's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Gotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. 
You're a good man. You take care of so many people. You gave me a roof and a job. You checked on me when I was grieving. You're such a good, generous man. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And then you gave your soul to Typhon. You let them tell you how awful it would be for your wife and son to find out. You let them tell you that Haven was more important than the men who died. And it really mattered who you were and what you stood for. You let Typhon decide for you. You can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. And you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive. And you'll finally know how strong you really are. Excuse me. Thank you. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. And I forgive you. <laughs> Sinners will be punished. There is no salvation. That's a work. is worse. I need to get some air. 
Charlotte Harmon portrait. I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. I've got some continued support for you. The phrase recent events is doing some work in this post. It never ends. What are your orders? <laughs> we are punishers and follow orders from Madame Kuranai herself. And as such, we punish evil and protect the innocent. Oh, I get it. You're like the police. Nearby androids detected. Last time I checked, good guys don't just execute people. While the criminals who robbed the casino have been eradicated, I'm so sorry. I worried you all. The associate criminals. No? We're referring to the likes of you. What? Violence of any kind is strictly prohibited within the Gold Palace, no matter what the reason may be. Come on, we were being robbed. It was self-defense. Do you mean to say fighting off a robbery is a crime? I bet Steph wishes she could reword that. Violence is a crime. But Regardless it's pretty funny. Reason, we have deemed you two associate criminals. <laughs> I might need to go back and replay this. Which is okay. I guess that's cool. Yep. Say, see him with suicide. Regardless of the reason, a uh, chicken, my game. We sentence you to one hundred thousand medals. How could you be so cruel? Not to worry, neither of them have been eradicated. They've both been sent to a labor camp as associate criminals in this matter. They're free to go only after they've Damn. won one hundred thousand men awards. But until then, they will remain in our custody. Understandable. After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready. <coughs> Maybe Dad deserved everything he got, but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. Yeah. You ever swing a pick before? 
Mr. Chan. Chan. And no. But I. I'm a hard worker. And I learn fast. And I don't mind long hours. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. Damn. This is a note. I'm glad he held on to it. For whatever it's worth. That looks like I'm gonna destroy this giant after this death. was already heard by everyone who needed to hear it. Is it weird that the part of this that bothers me the most is nondescript dive bar? I'm definitely replaying this. What I don't think about is me. Because I've never been good at that. And suddenly, it's the only question that's left. So, I just keep playing. Try to only read the art sections. So that's why we go after the bigger ones. There's big bucks here too. Yep, there are all kinds of stones here. Some of them even look like giant monsters. Go with them, our bucks, Cobra. That's great. We're stuck in some camp exterminating bugs for some woman we've never met before. Maybe I do deserve some dollar sign justice, but. I'd much rather be able to move on with my life. Never been collecting as many medals as you wanted. So that's it. Already gave up on your freedom. Sir, sir. I haven't been feeling very well since I caught a class this weekend. Sure. Sure. I thought violence wasn't permitted. Did you forget we had to fight against the stones back there? There are no laws down here in the poverty districts. The bastard feeding that man is our warden. One of Kornai's henchmen. Whoa. Um... So oh. sorry. His name's been Zaiton Garrett. I know. That's enough, you get it. Poor man is unconscious. What you said. Hey, what are you doing? The truth about my dad. I couldn't accept it. Maybe I wasn't strong enough. After everything he did. 
You still forgave him. I didn't know it was possible to be that strong. I suppose it's understandable that you idiots would It gives me hope that maybe one day I can be that strong too. Have a great choosing you. Thank you, Ryan. That means a lot. I see you've noticed my whip can paralyze on impact. What about us? Hey there. Now that I'm getting a closer look at Do you think you could ever do me what I did? I already do. You face something terrible. And for a moment, you turned away. Nice try. I don't waste my time here on men. I should have known. Are you seriously going to challenge me? Maybe oh. deep down I did. If you try pulling some heroic bullshit here, I'm going to make sure all these workers suffer for it. But it's out now. It's your lucky and day, as horrible huh? as it is, you, get to be punished and satisfied. you don't have to don't face it alone. We have each other. Don't worry about me. Please. It's okay. I can use it to gather info. After all, he has no idea that I'm capable of using either so, here. You know I can hear you, right? But it's Janet. What What's next for Alex Jen? Right I guess <laughs> I'm asking because <laughs> I'm in. I mean, whether it's here or anywhere else if you want me I'm there there's nothing any of us can do to save her you would really leave Haven sure what's left for me here anyway unless you were staying I'm not used to getting <coughs> to decide what I want. I guess I better think about it. I guess so. You know where to find me. <laughs> I can keep you warm with my body on a lonely night. All right. Just tell me. He's a top rated model with the qualifications of a five star. What? I believe so. My future. I choose to reject it. What to do? You have the gall to lay a finger on me with the light. The night of the spring fest, Ryan made a strong case for why I should stay in Haven. The idea of making this place my home. It seemed nice. Oh, of course. That was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on. You're the know it all. So tell me. <laughs> Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, people who actually like you. Why would you give that up? That's true. Then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? Hmm? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. 
<laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. Yep. I know. Or something. Hmm? It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. How strange. It seems Benji will be getting a powerful radar. You're not on it. No kidding. I've been trying non stop and I can't read the damn phone. Well, on the bright side, we don't have to worry about Ryan approves. Life goes on. You go back to work. You settle into a routine. One day. With almost no warning, Steph up in Bolt's town. It hurts. But she does offer you a going away present. Her job. You take it. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. It's not bad. And little by little, time does its thing. starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. to the background. Switching off and getting off the bed. The roof switching off and getting off the bed. Every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. Did you orchestrate all this? Sorry about that. I guess I got too excited for a second. You don't know exactly when it happens. But one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. 
Christmas? Just like every other video, your viewership won't settle unless you know what to say before you say <laughs> And the most extraordinary thing of all is so you gotta take just how normal it feels. You don't question it. You don't doubt it. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. I managed to get closer to Lobelia, and I'm learning tips on how to become a successful VTuber. Shiki, Homura, I promise I'm doing all this for you guys. Just hang in there. Eyes over here. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. Hmm. So? What do you think? I know what I want. Did that miss out? Oh. You can't Because <laughs> it was their car. Play this. I'm not some hero who fights for anyone. But I'll always fight for my friends, and I'll take down anyone who hurts them. But replay it. Uh, life is strange. Yeah.
uh, I'm playing. Yeah. This is like the fourth one. Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Chen. Right. Yeah, I found out the credits.